SSDSLR Film Noob. Installing an SSD into your laptop or desktop computer can be one of the biggest upgrades you can do to improve performance. A fast, super fast SSD can really make your computer feel snappy and make things really feel like a brand new computer. Whereas RAM upgrades and some of the other upgrades, they're not as beneficial. So today I'm gonna to show you how to install this Samsung Evo 8 4500 gig drive into the Asus ZenBook UX32VD laptop. This is my main editing laptop and it is an extremely beautiful little machine. I'm gonna put a 500 gig SSD in there and I'm gonna really boost the speed on this guy. So here's what you need to do. All right, for this laptop upgrade, you're gonna need a SSD. You're gonna need your Asus ZenBook UX32VD and you're gonna need a small T5 Torx bit as well as a 00 Phillips head right here. There are 12 Torx screws total on the top of the ZenBooks cover all the way around. So you're gonna need to remove all of those first. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have some place to put these little tiny screws cause they're pretty easy to lose. So I'm gonna set them in this memory card case right here. Once you have all those removed, you're gonna to want to apply a little bit of pressure to this cover here and slowly but surely detach it. There is a little bit of glue on the devices below it, so make sure that you're a little cautious when you're yanking this off so you don't break anything. And now you can see that there is the RAM, there is the hard drive, and to access the two screws for the hard drive, we're gonna need to remove the screws for this battery plate right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight battery screws and you're gonna to wanna to use your Phillips double zero head for that. All right, now that I've got all the screws removed for the battery, let's go ahead and pull the battery out gently here. Slide this forward like so, so that you can get to the screws for the hard drive. Make sure you keep an eye on this cable right here. You don't wanna yank that out or break it. And uh, if you set the battery off to the side like this, you should be able to get to all the screws for the hard drive. So let's go ahead and take those out now. Once you get all the screws removed for the hard drive, you should be able to slide this out gently, I hope. Now the hard drive is removed. You have four screws on the hard drive in order to remove it from its chassis. So I've already screwed up on this. Make sure you pay attention to what this bracket says. This goes on the right side and the other bracket goes on the left side. I obviously misattached those and now I have to reattach the brackets. You want the flat side down here in the front and you want the lifted side up here in the back. The arrow does in fact point towards the connecting piece on the SSD. Once you got that nice and snug, just lift up the battery again, making sure not to yank too hard on those wires and slide this guy into place. If you have trouble getting your fingers in there, you can use the edge of the screwdriver to give it a little bit of a push to slide it into the slot like so. All right, once that's in, you just need to replace the screws that you removed from the hard drive attachment parts right there. Once you've got that done, make sure you didn't yank out either this wire or this wire right here and slide your battery back into place. Now it's in there and you're gonna wanna put all the screws back into the battery. All right, once you have all the screws taken care of on the battery and on the hard drive, then you can return the cover of your Asus ZenBook back to its rightful spot. Reattach all 12 of those screws and you should be good to go. In this case, I used the included software that comes with the Samsung Evo to clone the, the SSD that was already in here. So once this is all put back together, it should boot right up. The software was relatively painless to use, so I'm hoping that it actually worked just fine. Uh, these screws can be a little bit tricky, so make sure you line all this up properly and don't strip any of these out. All right, so if everything went well, you should be able to flip this over and turn it on. And if everything went well with the cloning software, this should boot up just fine, which it did. And it shows that I have just installed a new SSD. So then I'm gonna click on restart now. And that's it for the installation. The Samsung cloning stuff worked quite well. 
All right, so that's pretty much it for the installation of an SSD into the ASUS UX32 VD laptop. This thing is a lot faster now, and you can check out the stats on the new hard drive over at dslrfilmnoob.com. I'll have a link for that in the crotch bar below. Also, one side note I forgot to mention while I was showing you how to install the drive, there is a little ribbon cable that is multicolored that comes off of the battery. That's the battery connection to the laptop. If while you're messing around with the battery, you unplug that, your laptop won't turn on. So make sure you keep an eye on that and just make sure it's pushed in nice and tight when you are done with all of the work inside of the laptop. Anyway, I'll have a full write-up on this over at dslrfilmnoob.com, and there'll be more information on all this stuff in the crotch bar below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and if you like this content, you should do one of these right here.